Hello everyone, we are currently in the heart of Glendale. This is at Westgate, and today I'm here to give you a breakdown of why you should consider moving to Glendale or living in Glendale. This is for someone coming from out of state or maybe already live in Phoenix and are consider relocating to a different city. And why are people picking Glendale? This has actually been a somewhat popular spot for, for people to be moving to, maybe not as much as some of the other places, but it is still gaining some attraction. We're seeing a lot of growth in this area. We're seeing some new builds happening and it is almost fully built out in terms of their there's not much more land for builders to build so there is demand here there's a lot of great things about living in Glendale and there are some things maybe you should avoid about living in Glendale so we'll get into both of that but I'm here to give you why you should consider it what are we thinking of when we think of Glendale and right here we're at Westgate which is definitely the prime entertainment as you can see right now they are set up for Christmas. So we'll kind of take a walk through Westgate. And actually my next video is gonna be a full tour of everything that's going on in this downtown area because it's it's a lot to cover. There's a new resort coming, there's a lot of changes, but all you need to know is this is kind of their prime hub here in Glendale. This is where there's gonna be movie theaters, they're gonna have events constantly. There's got ice skating actually right around here and there's concerts right on the other side. We'll show you all that, but let's get into some of the key things about Glendale that you should know. I think you should first know that Glendale is extremely central. One thing that really separates it from some of the other popular cities that people are moving to in Phoenix is a lot of them are kind of on the outskirts, maybe 30 minutes on average to, to downtown Phoenix or to Scottsdale. Places like Chandler or Surprise or Peoria are all more on the outskirts. Well, Glendale here, as you can see on the map, is actually pretty central. It borders Phoenix itself and Westgate, where I'm at right now. I mean, you're 15, 20 minutes from downtown uh, with no traffic. So it's an extremely central location, great for people that are either working in the West Valley or work in the East Valley and don't want to pay the East Valley prices, specifically Scottsdale. It's going to be a lot cheaper priced here in Glendale than over in Scottsdale. And you can get a fairly nice home and even a new build for maybe the smallest home over in uh, Scottsdale. So there's a lot of pluses to its centrality and obviously its prices are a big reason there too we're going to take a look at some of their different communities here in glendale that they have to offer that well you should maybe consider take a quick spin right around westgate just so you can guys see how nice of an area this is this site's pretty cool with a movie theater and they're going to have concerts outside right there and then on the other side here uh, this is actually where desert diamond arena is and it's a pretty cool area you'll see jets that are always going off they're not going off at the early morning but at night those are going off and this is more of the bar and restaurant scene on this side and it is a pretty cool venue as you can see it almost feels like you're inside of an arena yourself uh, because of how it's all set up with the billboards so this is definitely the top entertainment in Glendale so one area that I would maybe say Glendale does struggle in is the idea of some nicer communities, master plan communities with great amenities in them, a great family feel to them that a lot of people are looking for. And well, we have finally gotten a few of those uh, that are starting to be built and they're right around Westgate. So if you're impressed with that Westgate area, you wanna live somewhat close to it to have access to, to all the great things you are there are to do there, Stonehaven is a great spot. It is, in my opinion, the new best master plan community in Glendale that used to be held by Arrowhead Ranch, which is the most established Established, but if you're wanting a new built home with some great amenities, Stonehaven is really your best and only option here in Glendale. So right now we are at uh, one of the communities. So there are three builders that are building here. And this is one of the community's main area, kind of their, their best amenities are right here. And so as you can see, huge park with tons of grass area. Let me the camera here so you can just see a little bit better but I mean it is very well done uh, it has a feel to some of the 55 plus communities that have that resort style feel to it this uh, community center in particular has that niceness to it nice pool area tons of lounge chairs huge ramada here we'll drive through the community as well so you can see some of the new builds because yeah there's just a lot to like about Stonehaven I think the location is extremely central <clears throat> extremely prime place that people uh, would want to be living in and I think it's going to hold its value for a while because of that especially when you look at some of the surrounding communities well there just aren't a ton of options in Glendale and we'll take a little drive through the community just so you can see the style of homes the modernness of it and just the well-maintained roads sidewalks all that great stuff as we uh, drive through this community and all of these are within maybe 10 minutes at the most of that Westgate area. You're extremely close to the 10 if you need to be near downtown or Scottsdale. So a very nice community with some beautiful new build homes all in a central location in Glendale. 
So I try not to be too biased about my opinions, but I will say a lot of people don't like living in South Glendale for, well, somewhat good reason. It is one of the higher crime rates in all of Phoenix. And so most of my clients, I don't point them towards South Glendale. I just say, hey, here's a crime rate map. And uh, well, that's maybe not the most desirable spot to live. But this is in South Glendale, but because you're so close to Westgate, you kind of avoid some of those worst crime areas and Stonehaven in particular is a great community. And it is, it feels like it is almost gated in from the rest of the, the parts of Glendale. In general though, if you're looking for a great community in general, I tend to point people towards North Glendale where you're gonna see less crime rates. And that is where Arrowhead Ranch is gonna come into play. So we'll take a look at Arrowhead Ranch, which is a much more established, uh, built in the 90s community up there with uh, golf courses winding through it. So we'll take a look in that area right now. If you are thinking of moving to Stonehaven, the nice thing is they are still building. So they still have brand new homes available. There are a few resales starting to pop up as the community gets a little bit older. Uh, but with those uh, brand new homes that they are building, especially if you're looking at a spec home, you will see some some discounted interest rates that you're able to get some special incentives even on the new build process if you build from the ground up you'll see some incentives like a lot of money going towards some of the upgrades that you're picking and different things like that so if you are thinking of Stonehaven there's some great options here some in the high 400s but most are in the 500s and above here at Stonehaven so reach out to me I can get you some more info on the type of homes they've got available here We'll drive through Arrowhead Ranch just so you guys can get a feel of this community. It is, like I said, probably the best known and most established community in uh, Glendale itself. And it's extremely nice. They did a great job with it. You see the golf course that's winding through most of it. And they've got tree-lined streets. They've got a lot of natural grass just driving through, as you can see on both sides. And a lot of the common areas, they have grass. Uh, here's a little bit of a view of the golf course. Uh, they do have a couple golf courses, actually. And they're fairly nice. Uh, one is private and uh, one is open to the public and they also uh, have a nice park right in the center of it you see the beach volleyball court it's got a basketball court jungle gym it's uh, everything you're looking for it definitely has that master planned community feel to it they put on events just for the community itself they do a great job with it and it is in northern glendale it's right in the corner of the 101 in the west valley so it's also a uh, pretty easy access if you're trying to get over to scottsdale you can take that 101 right around you're a little bit farther from the airport than you were uh, down close to westgate but if you're looking for a great community that's established, that's shown it's going to continue to do well in the future, I definitely love Arrowhead Ranch. They've got a ton of different home styles here, a lot of custom homes, nothing too cookie cutter at Arrowhead Ranch. And we can't talk about Glendale without some of the great parks that we have. Right here we are at the Heroes Regional Park, which is in honor of our heroes in the military and in law enforcement and the fire department. And uh, its central thing is its beautiful lake that you have. And you can fish in this lake. Yes, you can go fishing there. And then on the other side, you have the jungle gym. Uh, they've got some basketball courts and they've also got a skate park over there. So there are quite a few different uh, parks that you can enjoy. Pioneer Park, which is, it's almost in the heart of Glendale, but it's technically in the Peoria city lines, but you obviously can go there. Uh, it's a beautiful park as well. Again, with a lake in it, with tons of softball fields and baseball fields, tons of grass area, great dog parks over there as well. So there are quite a few different large city parks such as this one right in the Glendale area. So they have some great things like that that the city has put on and, and they're fairly well maintained from my experience, especially uh, going to a place like this or Pioneer where my wife and I have frequented. Uh, that is a, a pretty pretty big bonus of, of living in Glendale is some of their amenities that they, that they gift back to their community. So the parks is something that you should know about Glendale uh, when it comes to considering it, especially if you have a family. Family. If you have any questions about these different communities, I'm happy to help even if you just want to reach out and say, hey, I was thinking about moving here. Can I find something in my price range or what do you think about this area? I'm happy to give opinions and, and give free advice where I can to someone who's lived here and someone who lives in the West Valley. I live in Peoria myself. I love it. I love to give honest opinions. And if there's maybe a spot you're thinking of, I can sometimes point you to, hey, look at the crime rate map. This may be a little bit of higher crime area than most people are looking. So feel free to reach out to me. My phone number and email are on the screen. If you're thinking of moving to Phoenix, I would love to help you out. I am a realtor here. If you want that free moving to Phoenix guide, no obligation, just send me an email and I will get it over to you. Stay tuned for more videos about living in Phoenix.